Hey, what's up? It's Alex Danger with Rock Rage Radio, and I'm talking to Johnny D, the uh, vocalist and guitarist, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm-hmm. For the band Never Wake. Y'all are based out of, like, Pennsylvania, Ohio area? Yeah, we're right about, uh, we're we're close to Pittsburgh, um, about, I'd say, 30 minutes from uh, Pittsburgh. We're kind of like in the tri-state area where you can get to three different states from where we are. But uh, that's home base, and uh, yeah, that's where we're all from. Very cool. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're kind of helping promote the Metal in the Mountains coming up, as well as the band. Um, mm-hmm. We're super stoked about this show. It's going to be a good one. It's a great lineup. Oh, yeah. So oh, what, yeah. what band are you looking forward to the most to like uh, listening to with this? Um, to be honest with you, I'm kind of, I'm, I like to, uh, I'd like to hear silent theory. You know, I've been hearing some stuff about them and I'd like to see them and I'm glad that we're, uh, getting this, uh, you know, share the stage with them, them and losing September. So I'm, uh, I'm excited about that, you know, right, uh, not only like, you know, sharing the stage with them, but just, you know, watching them perform and, you know, you, you always take something away from someone else whenever you watch them, you know, how they do things and it's, it's inspiring. So, um, I'm excited to, you know, to meet those guys and to hang out. So it's going to be a kick-ass time and, uh, I can't wait. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about y'all's writing process. You, you actually mentioned when we got on the phone that you were just laying down some tracks. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually, uh, I'm actually laying down some tracks for the next, uh, EP and we're actually getting back in the studio at the end of this month. So, uh, yeah, the writing process is, uh, it, it's, you know, kind of like not everyone can be at the same place at the same time. So somebody might start with something, you know, some kind of riff. And, you know, it sometimes it develops into a full song. Sometimes it drops dead, usually right at the bridge. <laughs> usually <laughs> for some reason, like all the demos were like, yeah, this is really cool. And it's about to break into like some kick ass breakdown. And then like it just drops dead. And we're like, right. yeah, I ran out of, you know, like, I didn't, I didn't finish it. So, <laughs> so at that point, usually somebody else picks up. Well, what about this? And, you know, somebody will go, oh, that's a good idea. And then you could do this. And, you know, it's uh, our, our process is is good because we we feed off of each other. And I always tell people that everyone has different influences. Like we don't even remotely have the same. I'm like we have some like similar interests. Like, but like let's, okay, my bass player George loves slipknot like obsessed with slipknot i and i mean it's not that i don't like them it's just that i they're not one of my favorite bands i like okay uh justin uh the other guitarist in the band big zach wild fan you know marcus he's into the like you know the gent scene it's just completely different genres and stuff and we have different ways that we approach things so if people hear you know a bit of this genre sneak in there or that genre that's just because that you know we don't like to put limits on what we do and we really like to you know feed off each other so yeah right so you mentioned that y'all are about to start recording the ep kind of any idea when that release might be or y'all we're uh or yeah we're looking to we're actually well first of all we're actually getting john moyer the bass player from disturbed uh back in the studio with us uh he helped uh produce the last one uh, and we okay. did that at Innovation Studios, and you know, so we're going right back into Innovation, and uh, we're doing this next one. I would say that we're looking for a single around uh, around the end of this year, or maybe maybe even August. That's exciting because y'all's last release has it's been a while, right? It's been it's been kind of a while, you know. We hit a speed bump here, and uh, we you know there was a delay, and there's always seems like there's a delay, and. To be honest with you, we didn't anticipate going into the studio this May. We were kind of like, you know, well, we're in the process of doing this. But then we figured out, listen, set a deadline, because if we don't set a deadline, it's going to get pushed back because this is happening and that's happening. So we sucked it up and we're like, just do it. So we're kind of in a crunch time right now. And uh, we're, you know, we're dry tracking guitars and we're about to, you know, get in the studio we're we're trying to save time where we can so that we can make things as smooth as possible but um yeah it's it is exciting though i'm I'm excited to get back in the studio and uh 
we've already started pre-production and talking with our engineer Mike, and uh, he heard some of the songs, and he's pretty pretty excited. That's outstanding. So I read uh, on your biography that y'all played Carolina Rebellion 2015. Mm-hmm. How was that? Uh, uh, kind of run real quick what that experience was like because I I just we just did media this past weekend for Carolina Rebellion so I yeah. saw how many people. Oh, I mean, a, there was a, a ton of people. of people there. There's always a ton of people there. All those loudest month festivals are so. And it's funny because not only the people are the people excited, but you look at the other bands and you talk to the other bands, they're just as excited because like all the bands are running around backstage like like kids in a candy shop because let's face it, it's not like this anymore. You're usually on like small tours or, you know, some of these bands don't even get to see these crowds. And, you know, it, it's exciting. It was so exciting to be back there. You know, when we first started, we were the first band that day. And I mean, like, no one was there because they haven't even opened the gates yet but there was a line like a freaking sea of people outside Mm -hmm. so uh you know they were like okay you guys ready so well first of all when we got there like it was just there everybody was so accommodating and it was unlike you know the you know the venue atmosphere where it's just like yeah load in these crickety stairs and shit (laughs) you know (laughs) you get there and everyone like eight people come over and start taking your stuff and you're like oh yeah that needs to be they're like no no we got it yeah, no, right, we, right. We'll, we'll take care of it <laughs> and you know so but but you know performing phenomenal i mean it was just so much fun you know by the time we started that you know it was crazy because i feel like i was singing a song and i looked down for a second for the lead and i look back up and there's a freaking sea of people in front of me and it was just nuts it was but it was so um it's amazing and i hope to be back there you know we've <clears throat> We haven't really timed our uh, releases up, you know, it, it festival season too well in the past because of like, you know, unforeseen, uh, you know, obstacles and stuff. But that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get something out there for next May. Right. That's outstanding, man. So what do y'all have coming up after Metal in the Mountains? Y'all Are y'all just steady tracking, tracking, tracking? Or y'all got more events well, set up? <clears throat> We've got, I mean, we've got a couple, uh, we've got a couple shows and, you know, they're coming as, uh, you know, they, they come to us, you know, from time to time, but really our main focus is to get this, this next album down pat, get a music video done and then get it out there. We're ready to release the new content. You know, we've been taking this new, this new route of EP and you know smaller releases because and if you look at anybody else like even the most popular artists are doing that now it's all about releasing content you know we're going to release this single we're going to release this you know but in doing so you're expected to have a quicker return with your music you know some people can release an album and then wait a year um we're trying to switch that format where we release an album and then you know by the end of that year we're back in the studio again working on the next one so, like I said, we had a little bit of a hiccup this last time, but we have enough material for a full album plus some for this next one, and we had to cut like six, you know, seven songs. So those are just sitting right now, you know, and we're going to use those for the next one. So it's not like we need we really need to to wait. It's just about releasing content at the right time. Right, all set and ready to go. Yeah, that's outstanding, man. Uh, so. Real quick, how did the band come about? Are you a founder of the band? Yes. Yeah, my uh, my father has been a musician for like 30 years. And, uh, you know, I was always um, I was always inspired by him. And I always wanted to do what he did, but I never thought that I could. You know, essentially, mm-hmm. I was more of like, a, you know, I'm going to stay in my own little shell. And, yeah, I'll write some music and, you know, stuff. Uh, and then uh, for my birthday, one, one uh, year, my parents like shit they gave me like an envelope and it was like you know congratulations you have recording time at so-and-so studio and i was like i didn't even know what it was at first i was like what is this and they're like that's the process that you do to like get a song recorded and because they knew i had some stuff so i was like oh shit like that's cool like yeah i would love to do this you know i would love to you know uh, uh get, get a song done mm-hmm. and before you know it you know i <laughs> 
it, it's it is such a blur you know you're writing music and then all of a sudden you're like oh yeah we need to have this person play and this person play um you know you know we need a bass player we need a drummer and uh yeah i mean the band came about just by you know guys just figuring out that the you know they they like playing music and then all the shit you know all of a sudden you're like a, you're a band and hey let's uh you know let's let's get these songs done so it was really cool um starting out you know with like we all knew each other kind of not really though we weren't like really friends like i always like to say that george our bass player like i met him in high school but he was like the gothic kid that like i didn't really hang out with and like (laughs) he was like a loner and then marcus was in the band i was like a football player and you know we like we knew each other and we weren't mean to each other or anything but we just never really hung out and it just kind of like different cliques yeah it just kind of you know in the future we all got together we got the uh you know we all realized that everyone had strengths in certain areas and started making some music it's weird how shit works out life is a mystery man such a mystery mystery well johnny i really appreciate you taking out the time and uh talking to us and uh can't wait to see you never wake uh, y'all are playing June first, right? The first day, or y'all are playing first on the second day? Um, you know what? I think we're playing first on the we're playing on the first day. The first day, okay. Either way, I'll be there. I know there will be a bunch of people there. I can't wait to see your band live. Um, I've oh, been yeah. checking out uh, the I guess the most recent music videos, Suffocate y'all dropped. Yes, probably yeah. Check out know, Suffocate. Man. That's one that but we that actually really filmed good. ourselves. So that was go really check that good, one man. out. That was awesome. I, I, Thank I, you. I really enjoyed it, but I appreciate you taking the time, man, and uh, we'll see you soon. All right. See you. Have a good one, bud. <laughs> you too. Peace. Peace. Right on. That was Johnny D, and uh, I'm going to play Suffocate and get out of here. This is Alex Danger, Front Row with Maniacal Music, only on Rock Rage Radio.